guys, it's here on Let's Play, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud. This is going to be a very long video, and uh, I think you guys have, you know, deserved a long video of this. I uh, just recently started my uh, uh, newest project, which is... Why aren't you working? There we go. Uh, my newest project, which is 100%ing Assassin's Creed. Uh, that was uploaded yesterday, if you haven't checked out that, the first video, uh, make sure you do. Uh, that's if, you know, you're interested in that. I know some people. Uh, that's gonna be another long LP, and I kinda wanted to get it started, since we're essentially halfway done with this one, so... Uh, cause let's see, this is the fourth dungeon? Third dungeon. Divine Beast Cave. Four shipwreck. Okay, this is the fourth dungeon, and there's two other main story dungeons, and then there's an optional dungeon. So we're essentially halfway done. So or over halfway done. So I figured I'd start on another uh, long LP. So and I'm, I'm gonna find it enjoyable because I've I've beaten that game 100 percent before, and I'm just gonna this time do it on a. Uh, you know, video. Uh, Martin Gayarin uh, is one of the uh, legendary fishes that you can catch, and uh, I would have shown that I caught it, but I believe that was in the video where I ended up uh, not being able to edit, and I had to use my backup files, so essentially what it does is it gives you a crap load of uh, fishing points. It gives you like 250 fishing points when you capture it which is pretty cool, and then it also allows you to know exactly what the uh, treasure chest uh, curse will be, whether it will be poison explosion or uh, curse, so it's really good that way. Also, it unlocks a, a weapon that you can get when you hit uh, 2,500, yeah, 2,500 um, fishing points, I believe, and... The way to upgrade that weapon is to capture more of the uh, legendary fishes. So, yeah, I've, I figured I'd just, uh, I, I should explain that since uh, I wasn't able to get a capture of the uh, fish, which sucks. So, man, this steel giant is being a pain in the butt. Oh, it almost killed my serpent sword, too. Repair. There we go. And boom, dead. No idea what would be good against steel. I'm assuming fire. Well, I'm, go I'm going with that based off of Pokemon. And fire is good against uh, steel types in Pokemon. So I I'd assume fire would be good against steel types here. You know, like heat it up and then it would get weaker or something. I don't know how fire and metal go together. But we have Serpent Sword that can be upgraded which is going to be awesome. We are actually going to do that right now, because I completely forgot about that message uh, when I was playing. And, yeah, up until probably about part 75, I'm not really sure uh, what part, uh, this entire uh, Dark Cloud is going to be post-commentated, which is why they come, like, every three days, because it takes me a while to post-commentate. And... So... It just, it just takes a lot of time out of me, and I'm in college, and, you know, I got classes and homework and stuff like that, so I can't really spend so much time doing post-commentary crap. So, I mean, I'll still be doing it, that way you guys get uh, more videos of this, because some of you guys are really liking this. Ooh, the bone slingshot does great against the phantoms. Alright. But, uh... Yeah, like this, uh, this is like a one every three day thing, uh, Assassin's Creed will be like a one every th three day thing, uh, Crash Bandicoot 3, I'll be uploading that at least one every, one every three, th three days, sometimes it will be, uh, two times in a three day span, so, you know, I always, I, I try to get you guys, uh, double, uh, days where you have, uh, two videos. Because you guys are you guys are worth it, and you know I can take 
some time out of my day to just slap my audio on a uh, Crash Bandicoot video and edit it and then be able to upload it. I mean, that does not take long. The really long process is the Dark Cloud stuff, which is why you don't get it every, uh, almost every day. It's because it takes so long for me to do. We are working this boom slingshot up. Only needs like 20 more experience or something like that. This steel giant sucks for being so powerful. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. Steel, steel giants are like really ridiculously powerful for uh, this dungeon because like they have at least 700, 800. HP, while other things like the Dunes maybe only have three, four hundred, so... I probably talked... I think I talked about that in the last video, but, you know... I can't remember what I talked about four days ago or whatever. Enga's house. And I believe... Let's see. In this town, who is it? I'm pretty sure that Enga is the one that stores your items, but I also think she's holding one of the, uh... Signets that you need. So, it will, uh, I'm pretty sure she's holding one of the secrets. I'm just not sh sure which one. Ooh, we got another phantom. Hopefully this will get the bone slingshot upgraded. Or, yeah, upgraded, not built up. So, and boom. Oh, nope, I have to kill another one. Shame. Oh, and another reason why, uh, the dark clouds take so long is because... Some of the files are like, like this one, uh, before I did all editing, all the editing and stuff, it was like 26 minutes long. So I, I end up going through and cutting out some to save me time on, uh, post audit, uh, post audit, post commentary. I don't know why I was going to say auditory, but, uh, is it, it, yeah, like the editing and the making it, it and then the making sure that it lines up and works well. It, it takes about, I'd probably say, like a good 40 minutes at times to, <laughs> he has powder, to uh, do a Dark Cloud video. One blow from that guy could finish us. Eh, probably. Which is what, and that's, you know, another reason why you don't get him every day. Crash Bandicoot's like maybe a 10 to 20 minute process. Actually, probably less than that. Since I, only, since I already have that game completed and uh, all the audit uh, commentary already made and whatnot, it's just slapping it together. So it would maybe be about a two minute process to uh, get all the videos uh, or get a video done. Alright, the magical crystal. Not like we needed it though. Alright, let's go to the next floor now. There it is. Go for it. To the next, um, uh, yeah, to the next floor. I kind of wanted to leave because I, I couldn't remember if uh, this was the uh, boss or not. I'm still thirsty because I don't care about my main character. All right, let's use Steve for a while. I have no idea what voice I gave for Steve, but uh, goddamn mimics it says the same things over and over again for mimics. So I don't really need to worry about. And oh, look, the key right away. Alright, I don't want to be tricked again. Yeah, neither do I. I hate Alex. Like, that was the title of one of my videos in this series. I hate Mimics because Mimics are the most annoying enemy. See, like there, just in one room, we had three Mimics. And boom. I mean, granted, they're easy to kill. They're just annoying because you think you're getting an item and then... Nope. Surprise attack. Now, I know there's something in, like, Dragon Quest VIII that's very similar to a mimic. The mimics here are based off of, uh, Dungeons and Dragons mimics. I don't... I'm pretty sure there's a mimic in, um... Like, a mi it's something that's like a mimic in Dragon Quest VIII. So, that would probably also be based off of, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. If I'm not mistaken, though, but... I I could be, because I tend to be wrong about things. Alright. Upgrade Steve. Steve is going to become awesome within the next couple of videos. 
I can guarantee that. Alright, another mimic. Woo! This time we're using Goro. Goro has special powers against mimics with his hammers and stuff. I don't understand, like, how hammers and mallets and tuna have good specialty against mimics, but, you know, I'm not a game programmer. Like, I could not be a game programmer, because everything I would do would just annoy me, and holy crap, was this floor... Is, this floor is entirely mimics. Damn. I just noticed that. There's not a single regular enemy in the entire floor. It's just mimics. It's horrible. I was not actually expecting to see something like this during the game. Because usually, when there's mimics, there's regular enemies. Like, uh, in the Wise Owl Forest and the Shipwreck. There was, like, maybe four, five, six, six mimics total on the floor. The rest would be regular enemies. But I've never... I don't think I've ever noticed that this has been an entire mimic for the multiple times that I've played the game. And we got another Atla up there. There we go. And we get a totem pole B. Alright, so not too bad. Alright, do we have the uh, heads? Oh, dude, nice. There we go, that one's now upgraded and I can figure out three other houses. And we got another outlet here that I ended up skipping. So. Toto's house. Toto is, uh... Yeah, Toto is very important. Uh, Brooke talked about him when we finished, uh... His house. And, of course, uh, another one. And, uh... We will get something awesome from Toto's house when we do finish that. But, you know, that's not gonna be this video. It'll have to wait. Just like I do sometimes. And... My plan is for my uh, recording stuff is to get what I can done. Uh, basically, what will cover me until middle of December. Done very shortly. That way, I don't have to worry about it. And then all I have to, all I'll have to do is worry about like uh, editing and all that. And I, I plan on starting another LP. Like, I've already started the 100% uh, Assassin's Creed one, but I'll be starting another one when Crash Bandicoot 3 is finished. And so, you'll be seeing uh, three LPs on this channel for a while. And the other, uh, the one that's going to replace Crash Bandicoot 3 is going to be a short one, so... That one I'm going to assume. I, I honestly have no idea. I actually have to start recording it tonight. Uh, I'm going to guess it's maybe going to be 30, 35 videos for the one that's going to replace Crash Bandicoot 3. So, Granted, I could be wrong. It could take so much longer. Because I honestly don't remember half of the game. So, It is a game I have 100% of it before. So... Like, th that's what I'm trying to do, is, uh, uh, do games that I have 100%ed before as my first LPs, or first couple at least. Holy crap, that King Mimic took a lot out of us. But, like, uh, let's see, what's a, I'm trying to think of a game that I have that I have not played or, uh, beaten 100%. Huh, Uncharted. I have not played Uncharted yet. I own all three of the games, but I haven't played uh, any of them. And so I don't want to uh, end up committing myself to do an Uncharted playthrough without being entirely sure of like what I will end up having to do and stuff, which is why I'm doing uh, LPs that I know I can 100% quickly. And we got a secret path, key, so I don't need of them in my bag, so we can actually go to the back floor of this one. 
And again, I'm sorry about this uh, lag whenever I do uh, cuts. For some reason, the movie maker just wanted to upgrade itself, and now it lags whenever I put cuts in. And it doesn't matter if it's like a very small uh, video, like, you know, something that's maybe uh, 10 kilobytes or whatever. If I put a cut in it, it's going to lag for some reason. Could end up... And if it's two gigabytes, it's gonna lag for some reason. I don't know. Oh, great. The back floor is all mimics as well. Oh, man. I just can't get a... Okay, attachment bag is uh, full, so... Alright, let's... Uh... Wow, 37 damage. That's not a lot. Alright, let's try that. 41, so it's a bit better, but it still is horrible. And Evil Cease is, like, one of my best weapons. I mean, Macho Sword can uh, compare with it, because uh, Macho Sword is just... Uh, it, it's a very powerful weapon to start with, so... Not bad. So he almost took it out with the uh, five-hit combo. And I do like how they drop money, so that's very nice. Five, six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've, let's see, I've hit two so far. Three... Okay, so that's number three. Let's repair that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight one, two. There will be three uh, good chests. And oh, nice. I froze the stamina up. Uh, thing. The mimic. I don't know why I wanted to call it a thing. I had a brain fart for some reason. All right. Camera. Stop it. Stop blocking. I don't block when you attack me. <laughs> Alright. I mean, that stop from the ancient uh, sword uh, is nice, but I, would ju I just wish it would work more often than it does. But since it... Ah, oh man, we broke our transfer. It only works, like, once every... 100 hits or something for us for some reason. I don't know why, but... Oh, well, there we go. Boom! Took it out! Nice. Alright, and we need to heal on water and health. Eh, not so much health. Who cares about health? I'm a big boy, I can live it all. Alright. Damn! Damn! Alright. Alright, you stupid mimic. Come here, quit blocking. Quit blocking. God, I get one hit in, and then he starts blocking. Come on, come on. Boom. Yes. Ooh. And I get an upgrade weapon. Let's see, do I want that on there? This one I actually kept in, because it was very short, and... Like this weapon customization. Usually I, uh... Edit them out, but this one was actually pretty short, so... Man. I still need a lot of fire. Or a lot of flying, I guess. But, like, usually I cut it out, but it was actually pretty short, and it kind of would have been worthless to cut it out, so. Let's see. Oh, dude, 41 with the Macho Sword. Yay! Come on, there. And, okay, so there's one over here. Be an item. Yes! Antidote drink. You know, it's, it's not a bad idea to have those in your inventory, because you could get poisoned. However, the poison amulet ends up helping a lot. And that's obviously a king mimic. And this is probably a mimic. No, it's not. Wow. And a drance feather. And king mimic. Awesome. So we're going to use Steve, because Steve is cool. Hot oh, damn, he's a whopper. Alright, king mimic, you need to go down on health. There we go. And let's... Yeah, let's equip the steel. That way it gets the experience. And there we go. Okay, so that's what's on the steel. Wow, that gave us 30. That's ridiculous for experience. That's just... That is just bad for experience. Or that, I mean, bad as in stupid. It's, it's great for experience, though. And I'm surprised I didn't cut out this backtrack journey for some reason. I must be slipping. But, 
Alright, let's go back to the front floor. Kinda getting tired of the back. Alright, so here we go. Alright, let's get to the end so we can get to a new floor. Can't believe that this entire place, front and back floor, were mimics. I'm just surprised at that. Alright, but, uh, yeah, we're coming up pretty close to the end of the video, so, uh, we're gonna cut it off here. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, new LP is, has started, so if you wanna check that out, you can. And I'll see you guys next time.